Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the legendary assault rifle, the Sickle. Now, what makes this legendary is this red text here that says, Swing the Sickle. Now, what is this in reference to? I personally think it's just in reference to this gun, the mechanic of this gun, the Russian symbol. In Borderlands 2, there was a gun that shot the symbol of a hammer. This one shoots the symbol of a sickle. Um, that's my opinion. If you guys think it's from something else or know it's from something else, let me know in the comments because the wiki doesn't know and I'm just taking a shot in the dark. Now, what does this actually do for this gun? Well, this gun pulls ammunition from the assault rifle pool so you can have a lot of it. It shoots like a shotgun, so it's a shotgun with an assault rifle ammo pool and it shoots in the pattern of a sickle up on a wall, which we can show you here really, really quickly. Uh, you can see here, it literally shoots a sickle. Um, and as far as I can tell, that is it for its legendary ability. If I miss something, you guys please let me know in the comments below and I would appreciate that so we can all learn from it. Now, as for the way the gun looks, I mean, it looks like a normal flat off, except for it's red and black, which is kind of cool. It says like carbon fiber uh, attachments everywhere. I guess it's super lightweight, you know? I don't I don't really know. Um, it's, it's just an okay looking gun to me. Now for my personal thoughts and overview of this gun. Well, I personally am not a super fan of this gun. Um, as for the perks of this gun is that it pulls from the assault rifle ammo pool. So with the rate of fire of this gun, which you guys can see there, that is basically here. This is as fast as you can literally shoot this gun. I am button mashing like a mofo. That's as fast as you can shoot it. So with that rate of fire, with over 1300 rounds of ammunition in your freaking stockpile for this thing, you could shoot this thing infinitely on any character. You could not shoot more rounds than you could pick up and loot ammo if you were actively killing things. Now the negatives, the rate of fire is incredibly slow. The reload is incredibly long. The rate of fire is incredibly low. I think I already mentioned that, but I gotta mention it again because it's just, it's so low. Um, but the damage is acceptable. You guys can see here it does delete mobs And I really honestly do think you could get all the way through the game in true vault hunter mode with this gun if you really really wanted to um, I think there's much much better shotguns and much much better assault rifles out there than this thing But it is definitely not the worst gun I have used um, So I would again, I'm gonna put this right in the lower tier of middle of the road just because of that rate of fire you're not going to be doing any fancy rapid fire boss burns or rapid fire skill chains you're not going to do anything insanely fancy with this thing all you're going to do is constantly and steadily just kill two to three shots at a time just like you guys can see me doing here just one two I missed that guy one two and then one two and then it just like rinse and repeat and then you have this huge break for reloading Invincible. If you guys do like this gun, please let me know in the comments of what you like about it and why you choose to use it over some of these other guns. Just because there's so many better guns out there. And not even like better OP guns, just like better middle of the road, better reliable, better, just better guns. I really, really am not a huge fan of this gun. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. There's not much to it. Um, the spread pattern I don't like. The rate of fire I don't like. The reload I don't like. Um, this just gun is a whole bunch of negatives to me. That huge ammo pool is amazingly nice because you can never run out of ammo. You never really have to worry about it, but it has so many negatives to it. But anyways, guys, um, if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, I got mine out of the Circle of Slaughter, the one versus the Bandits. Um, it, Wiki says it's an open world drop. I haven't seen too many of these. I think this is the only one I've ever seen out of all my time playing. So it could be a little bit hard one to farm or it's just RNG. You never know. Some people might have these things raining on them like candy. Get candy doesn't rain. It's fine. I'm making shit up, guys. But anyways, I really do appreciate you all stopping by. It does mean a whole lot. And if you like this video above me, there should be a playlist appearing that has more videos just like this one. If you like some of those, think about subscribing, hitting the bell, commenting, liking, uh, just being an awesome person overall, joining the community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dick, baby, yeah.